Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden runs. Four wins, uh, I've recovered fully from that terrible run. Oh my god, Tech Point 5, Razor Blade, decent rate of fire, decent damage. J37W, 4MZM. Um, I've recovered from that, uh, terrible run. That was like, well, I mean, obviously that was four, or maybe, I guess now, five runs ago. Um, I feel, I feel like, you know, we're building up a nice streak again here. I'm not gonna focus so much on the streak, but I'm very happy that we've been able to at least, uh, you know, come back from that, because, man, that was soul-crushing. Like, that was, that was a post where it started to, um, when, when the episode came out, it, like, hit the subreddit, and people were like, wow, can anyone beat this seed? And it wasn't, like, traditional... Northern Lion video where people were like, well, you know, it was a tough seed, and Northern Lion's a good player, but he played like a little sloppy here. Everyone, at least like 99.9% .9 of people, and that's not an exaggerated number for once, even though I did pull it out of my asshole. Um, we're like, man, that seed's fucked up. <laughs> Apparently, though, on that, that terrible seed, now that it's gone up, people have been playing and letting me know. I will never revisit it because it is bad memories. Um, but uh, if I could have made it to Boss Rush, let's keep in mind that I was at like 25 minutes by Caves 2 or something like that. But if I could have made it to Boss Rush, there was like uh, Polyphemus or something in there. Would have fucked our rate of fire beyond belief, but would have, uh, you know, put us in a great position. I don't think we can get this. That's not, uh, that's not very good. I'm gonna try to avoid that as well, because I think I might be able to use Razor Blade here. But, uh, yeah, Polyphemus would have been interesting, let's put it that way. Uh, I definitely don't want a second Are You a Wizard pill. Why did I hurt myself? Because we have the Razor Blade, so, um... Well, sorry, because we have that HP back there, but the Razor Blade can kill things, which makes my life better. Um, Proptosis, fantastic item. Also gives us a, a nice excuse with all this poop around to just sit in here until Are You a Wizard runs out, and then, uh... I'm particularly excited to have Proptosis, not just because it's amazing, but because we have Tech Point 5. So Tech Point 5 will have the, the awesome damage imparted on it, I think, but won't suffer the range down. Which means, like, it might not get a full bonus, like, the up-close-and-personal bonus that you get from Proptosis. In fact, I, I actually don't know. I'll try to think through it now, because the way Proptosis works is it's like an 80% 80 80 damage bonus, I believe, uh, when you're right up close against someone, and then like a 20% bonus, at, even at its maximum range. At the very least, uh, Tech Point 5 here won't suffer the range downgrade that Proptosis imparts. But anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get down here. Probably should have bought a, uh... A spirit heart from the shop there, but I wanted to save my key to make sure we can get into our item room. And to be honest with you, our damage is such right now that I'm like, we're not gonna take damage unless something terrible happens. I don't want to sound overly cocky about it, but we're in a, a great position right now. We could even try to get a spirit heart in a, a bit of a foolish way. That almost fucked me up. Um, I'm just gonna use Hangman here instead. Uh, but we could have used Hangman to get into the curse room, not take damage, and then just hope that there's spirit hearts on the way in. That would be foolish, but also hilarious if it worked. One day, perhaps. One day when we don't care about our results quite as much, we'll give it a try. Taurus! Taurus is, um, not particularly strong right now, but has the potential to become amazing in the late game if we get, uh, you know, a really high speed stat. And, uh, are able to maybe walk into enemies. Could be cool. As of right now, is it cool? Ah, eh, not really. No, no room for the next couple of floors we would expect to be long enough to really uh, get the, the proc from it, but it's not technically a proc because it's not a programmed random occurrence northern line. I know, I know. It's off to work I go. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Uh, I do want to check out our cursor or shop here. If we can get a, an active item, that would be good. Barring an active item, I'm totally okay getting starter deck. Also gave us the stars. Pretty decent. Probably we'll use that when we walk back to that curse room. We'll use that to uh, backtrack without taking extra damage. It also cuts a little bit of time off. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. And also all pills becoming cards is potentially good. You know what? I think we will actually encounter some rooms where Taurus will work for us. I guess our speed stat... Probably not worth it. Um, but I guess our speed stat started high enough that... It actually feels like, you know, if I just move back and forth, we might be able to get it uh, going on one of these rooms. Like, we're, we're pretty fast already. We're close. Maybe not close enough, though. Okay, deal with the devil. I am hoping for some great stuff. The extra speed upgrade is so good. And there's no question we have to take Goadhead here. The question is, do we take anything else? Honestly, I think the answer is probably no. Our damage is good enough that I don't need Headless Baby. I certainly don't need Contract from below. I do need our HP, so I'm gonna hold on to that for now. Um, 
but the goat head is it's a no-brainer pickup that that is what we want and I think we're gonna take a little bit of time to shoot all the poop in here it would be nice to get petrified poop it would be nice to just get uh, you know more coin drops if we don't get it that's also fine we got one penny out of that was it worth it why you gotta put me on blast like that um, okay curse room we have bombs so we're fine the stars card will save us a half spirit heart on the well a half red heart on the way out okie dokie second chance Ah, okay. I will take... Oh my lord, that's good. I'm just going to take the damage, and then we'll save a key instead by using the Stars card right away on the next floor. And I'm going to use uh, Pandora's Box right away as well to hopefully buff up our HP even more. But uh, yeah, this is really good. We got Cricket's Head. Pandora's Box will be some kind of boss item immediately on the next floor. And, I mean, the teleportation of the deal with the Devil wasn't worth anything. But as is, this was an incredible haul, and maybe we can get like an Eternal Heart or a Black Heart. Don't want to waste all of our bombs, but we don't have too many choices. Eternal Heart. Ah, Fortune Teller. Okay, we'll tell you what. We'll play until we get down to five cents. Seven. Six. Five. Our card. The Chariot. We can take both of them, so we're going to take both of them. Uh, was it worth six cents for the Chariot card? It could mathematically be worth that, yes. But for now, we're just going to head down to the next floor and uh, pop Pandora's box. Torn Photo. Well worth the time, I'd say. Now, we did... We didn't just get Torn Photo for free, we did have to give up uh, Blood Rites for it, but I think Blood Rites is usually a pretty terrible item, so lucky me, I guess. Let's teleport uh, immediately, because we don't have a key yet, and uh, Juicy Sack is totally fine. Our spiders are going to do a ton of damage, and uh, the creep is alright, I guess, but mostly I'm, I'm happy about the occasional spiders we're going to spawn. Uh, this is a, a really good situation, and I mean that like like it's a really really good situation. The only thing we're a little bit, you know, in the in the lurch on right now is our HP. But uh, to some extent, HP can be easy come easy go. You know, we can actually gain HP on a deal with the devil if we're lucky enough. Obviously, you know, one bomb becomes worth a lot there. One bomb worth twelve cents. That's a pretty good haul. We still don't have any keys with which we can use to get into the shop. But uh, you know what? Can we make it? We can make it. All right, there you go. One chariot card worth 12 cents. That's fantastic. Uh, and now we don't have to think about that room, and we can save our bombs for later. Doesn't really matter that we took red heart damage there, as long as we're not at risk of death. Way better than using our chariot card on a, a blood bank or something like that, and maybe getting like two or three cents out of it. Well, uh, probably like five or six. Instead, we got 12. That's amazing. And we got some extra bombs and x-ray goggles, or x-ray vision is fantastic as well. This run is going right in every single way, except the one way that truly scares me, which is, you know... Our health. We're two hits away from dying. It's like being at a delicious Tex-Mex feast, but also having irritable bowel syndrome. And you're like, well, I mean, this is delicious, but I know it could all go wrong in a split second and uh, explode on me in a very embarrassing way. That's not me making light of IBS, by the way. Um, I have, I've never had, like, medically diagnosed IBS. But I have put my, uh, my GI tract in situations where I'm like, if I don't get to the bathroom right now, I'm gonna fucking riot. So... I feel your pain. To have that on a regular basis much must be, uh, like, not even just like a, an easy punchline. It must be super annoying. So, I apologize if I've made your life worse by trivializing it. I did not mean to. There's a guppy item. So good. Nine lives. Nine lives. Rotten baby. I will take. Very risky. Our HP is not good. However, I gotta take rotten baby because, uh... The flies are going to do so much damage with the way that our run is set up right now. Plus, we got two black hearts out of it. That's that's worth something. A key, please. No key. All right. An eternal heart. That's very useful. We're so far ahead of schedule already. And, I mean, that's all Proptosis and Tech Point 5. Now the spiders and flies don't hurt either. We've actually scaled pretty nicely. This should be our regular secret room. And inside... We get two more bombs, so I am going to blow these up in the hopes of getting some cards, I guess. Maybe a Hermit card. We got Devil. So it looks like, unfortunately, we'll be unable to access our shop. But picking up the extra HP is good, and uh, I really I can't see this one going wrong right now. We also have a really, really great chance at uh, Boss Rush, no question. Okay, Blood Bank is great, and actually we can get into that Boss Trap room as well, so let's do so. And we got two... Uh, high damage cards here, so we'll probably pop the Empress on the boss trap room, assuming it's not golden chess, uh, which it is, and so I think this will probably be worth it. We did get one key out of it, and two of diamonds is awesome. 
I don't think we'll be able to get to 99 cents on this floor, but uh, we, we might have a pretty good chance. Keep in mind how quickly we just killed Mega Fatty, and that is why I'm not concerned at all about either Mega Ma or the other shit that we're going to come across on this floor, because, like, sincerely, uh, Mega Fatty is, like, the hardest enemy we're going to fight by, not an order of magnitude, but by, like, double, so... I'm pretty okay with this. 30 cents takes us to 60 if we use two of diamonds right away, which I'd rather not do. Um, sure, I'll star his card, save us a key. And Chemical Peel is, as usual, you know, worth the, the cost of doing business here. I think that maybe we want Counterfeit Penny later. For now, we probably want uh, Isaac's Fork to give us HP so we can go back to that uh, arcade. It's not going to give us too much, though. You know what? We're probably better off taking Counterfeit Penny earlier. And then, if we can get to 50 cents, we can leave Counterfeit Penny and take maybe Bible Tract on the rest of the, through the rest of the game. So we don't want to do that yet. This could be a secret room. It is unfortunately not in the right direction, but that's okay. We got the quarter. Uh, I guess I should have spent some money before I doubled it, but it doesn't matter that much. Let's go back and get two of diamonds. We'll get two of diamonds, play Judgment. We'll use two of diamonds after we play like five cents worth, because this makes sense. Um, and then this way the money is basically free. So we'll get down to 50. Not that this is a, a big deal. In fact, we'll actually go a little lower. Go to like 48 or something if we can. Because there is, uh, there's more money in this room. That's taking us back to 51. So basically we just got that, uh, half red heart for free. I mean, it's not an enormous get or anything like that. Um, but it is something. There we go. There's 99 cents. We're going to be at 96. As far as I'm concerned, if this judgment doesn't want to pay out for like 10 minutes, that only works out in our favor, so I'm happy. And the map. Fantastic. I will check out our curse room because we're here, and we could really use a guppy item, and that is probably the second best one for us after nine lives. So the extra flies are awesome, and the lover's card is going to be helpful as well. This floor, despite, uh, you know, having not really done all that much so far, has paid out with a ton of good shit. So we are in a really, really good position here. I'm trying to maybe get a uh, blood bag. I don't want IV bag so much. We want child's heart. I mean, I mean we might as well take child's heart for now. Now that we can see where we're going, uh, let's... Go back. I'm actually going to pick up Bible Tract. I think I'm going to pick up Bible Tract. And this run, uh, if it isn't already balling out of control, we are one very, very luck likely uh, guppy item away from making that a reality. So I am feeling real, real good about the way this is going so far. Uh, to the point where I actually lost the ability to speak there temporarily. And these flies and spiders are so helpful. If we just pick up Hive Mind, it's basically... Um, you know, just a matter of how fast we can finish the run, not whether or not we're going to finish the run. I mean, I guess technically, if you want to be technical, all runs technically finish at some point anyway, but you, you get the idea. All right. Well, why, there's no point in even picking up the money at this point. We have 99 cents already. If we can get, like, a flat penny, I'd be interested. And when you're this strong, like, HP just has a tendency to find you, thankfully. You know, you, you don't take very much damage because enemies die before they can do anything to you. Every heart is, uh... You know, more likely to be preserved, shall we say. I will totally open that. We've got an incredible fly army here to use to fight whoever the unlucky so-and-so is that's within this room. Probably did not need it, but the hollow is dead. We get more DPS, and I'm not going to take Brother Bobby. All right, down to the next floor. What am I hoping for at this point? Full-on, like, half-ass... <laughs> Full-on half-ass, yes. Full-on half-assed uh, speedrun mode, basically, right now. Give us the compass, uh, and, and the more damage you can give us, the better. Uh, I really thought I could sneak in without taking another hit, but come on. Two or more spirit hearts. We got one. Paid for the room, at least. Not that I'm trying to act like that's a bad thing. It's a good thing. I don't know what I'm hoping for here. We already have a lot of the, you know, head-related items. All right. Thank you for the Skype message, Math is right on time, as always. And uh, it will fix itself, I'm sure. Stop talking. You've, you've said your piece. He's talking about how we can record more races, which, by the way, thank you for your support on those. I'm I'm very interested in uh, in doing more races, but you're killing me here, Mathis. There we go. Finally, you stopped typing. People have uh, expressed, I don't want to say concern, but they've... Bewilderment. Why didn't you put it all in the same video? Well, that's a very good point. That's what we're going to do in the future. So there might be a little bit of a higher turnaround on them now because we're going to put both video frames in the same frame. Um... Ideally, at least, that's that's what our intention is right now, but uh, 
yeah, if you didn't check that out, Mathis and I did a, a race against one another, I guess earlier this week, depending on when this video goes up. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it was a lot of fun. I would like to do it in the future. He's a good racing uh, partner because he makes decisions that are not very smart and I make decisions that are not very smart so we kind of play well off one another he isn't afraid to be risky as well which I like you know he, he did that uh, that play that ended up being terrible in the first run he not and this is not like genuinely not a spoiler but he went uh, for boss rush and I was like what is this guy doing going for boss rush but I I, I admire it I should say I, I admire his uh, his gumption let's see what this card is Two of spades, the two of down down to 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 down. I'm gonna buy this as well, because why wouldn't we? Uh, okay, two of diamonds. Might as well double our stuff right now. I'm telling you what, why don't we come in here, open this, then use two of spades. Takes us a little higher. I don't know why I'm still picking up all the consumables. Death. Devil. Strength. I'll tell you what, we'll take two devil cards. Fairly useful. Um, one at a time, obviously. This is still depths one, so. We can go fight, and I'm really hoping that this is going to finish my guppy situation here. The bloat stands no chance in hell, which is great because he's like one of the toughest enemies that we could, toughest bosses at least we could be fighting right now. But we did get the goat head on this floor, which is just like, you know, what can you do? We will take one of the moon cards with us. Oh, oh, we, we can't take Abaddon and Death's Touch unless we had the strength card, which we do. Why do birds suddenly appear? All the time, you are near, just like John, they want to don Abaddon. Wait, we still can't take both of them. Yes, we can. We can't take Demon Baby, though. That's acceptable. We do this, and then we do that, and then we do that. And we are the smartest person in the world. Um, so we don't want Devil. We want Moon now. One, one Devil, one Moon. Um, oh, yeah, baby. And that means that uh, we have an incredible amount of damage, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Still not quite... <laughs> that hurts. Still not quite guppy, but the, the dream is alive. Sure, might as well. Uh, it would also be great if we could just get, like, Hive Mind or something. I've been asking for it forever, but, you know, Hive Mind is so good. Man, the hitbox is ridiculous. I love it. Okay. This is a... <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's very strange. Um, it's not usual uh, to be in this situation that I'm in right now where we have hit uh, tears with such a large hitbox this early like normally You're waiting until you get some kind of ridiculous chest synergy. We have not had to worry about that, which is incredible I'm trying to find our shop. We've already been to it, right? That's correct. I remember now. There's not hive mind spoilers all right, so we're still like a couple minutes ahead of schedule for boss rush. Probably not a couple minutes, but we're also going to destroy every room in like a matter of uh, seconds. So even if we're a little bit behind schedule, I don't think it matters too, too much. But we're going to get down anyway. The only reason we took so much time here is because we had a lot of different things on our uh, on our agenda to get accomplished, basically, on this floor. We, yeah, we're missing the second secret room. I don't really care. Um, let's go. Um, yeah, we, we got a lot accomplished on that floor. It was amazing. Um, the, the DPS that we picked up was absurd. Come on, Guppy. Guppy. Not Guppy. That's okay. Not a big deal. And Guppy. Not Guppy. That's okay. Not a big deal. <laughs> if we don't become Guppy at all on this run, I'll end up being, you know, quite disappointed. But, uh, it's alright. We don't know how it's gonna go yet. We're in that, you know, enviable position where we don't even really have to hit the enemies. Our flies will take care of it as long as we've hit an enemy at some point in the recent past. Devil Chariot. Um, I'm just going to pop the Chariot to kill this guy. We're going to keep popping down bombs because if we get like an Emperor or something, we could really afford to use that. Like the Devil card is non-essential for us right now. Uh, we also got a rune. Awaz rune. See if we get a black market or something. No. Judgment. Okay. Hanged man. Okay. Devil card. I'm just popping it because we don't need it right now. Uh, and we'll play the Judgment in the hopes of getting uh, HP that we can trade on a deal with the Devil, or a Compass would be great. Absolutely acceptable, I think. Okay. Still doing fine here on time. Might look like we're dilly-daddling, but again, every room... I can't fly. <laughs> every room is going to take us like a fraction of a second, so... Well, that's not true. It's going to take us a fraction of ten seconds, though, so what do we care? Piggy Bank is a, a pretty terrible item to be getting at this point. Uh, we pretty much have no desire to have it, but we also have no ability to reroll it. If that's the first and only time 
thus far. I know oh, I can't fly, you fucking idiot. Uh, if that's the first and only time we end up being disappointed with our items, then as far as I'm concerned, this run is an incredible success. So I'm, I'm very disappointed that we don't have a chance to get Hive Mind. I'm kind of, you know, not worrying about keys that much. I'm like, well, we could go back and open those golden chests, but we're going to need these keys later. You know, Guppy's tail isn't going anywhere, and also we have uh, the chest. So we'll try to keep it like above four. So I'm not going to open every single one, but on occasion I will, I will take a crack at it. Plenty of time here, and we might as well take that. I've gotten rid of the, the boss rush timer, basically, because we know we're going to hit that time if we want to. And uh, let's just go finish this. We may actually want to fight boss rush, because why not, right? Uh, what's our other card? Devil. All right, we'll take this, use that, not Krampus. Um, I don't want these, to be honest with you. Mom's Knife is cool, but it ruins our anti-grav death touch thing that we got going on. Uh... We don't need piercing shots, but it might be worth, like, fighting for Daddy Longlegs here. Like, we're gonna take some damage. Daddy Longlegs is not, like, good enough to hang with us on this run. But, it's fun. Like, bosses are spawning, apparently, here at some point. What we have is just a stream of endless death and destruction that just pours out of the side of the screen here. Um, I'm kinda like, you know, why would we bother... Why would we not bother doing this? Considering the speed at which, uh, you know, th things are going right for us here. Keep in mind, you know, if you're wondering why enemies are dying that we don't see, we also have Tech Point 5, which is shooting pretty regularly, uh, you know, through the center here. Doing some real damage. Look at that, like, we, we didn't even need to be there. I actually thought that they were dead because the health bar was gone, but... And by they, I mean Gertie. Alright, let's, let's get reset up here. Luckily, they have such a long death animation that we could totally do that. That's fine. They are dead. We took one hit. That was, like, Monstro... Monstro 2... Gish, I guess? You should not come this way. I would advise you to go elsewhere. I think we're fighting Blast Assist right now? Yo, where's Blast at? Oh, it was Mask of Infamy. Okay, so we're already on the Horseman then. Just trying to dump shots in every direction. Alright, it's our final wave. This is, like... Perhaps unabashedly the best run we've ever had in terms of damage like this is actually better than a lot of like mom's knife runs and stuff like that that I've had so I'm pretty excited If you're wondering why we got slowdowns because uh, Bear Taffy has decided that we're gonna have a great conversation in the Skype window right now um, All right, I'm going to sign out Because that seems like a conversation that is gonna go on forever and hopefully that doesn't ruin the video. It's a freaking Tuesday afternoon, man. Everyone just wants to talk all day. Oh, my stories are on. Yo, get some work done, you freaking J-brones. Yo, you gotta, just cause you're, you know, making your own hours, you still gotta make your own hours, you know? They actually work hard. I'm just, I'm salty because they've caused me to get the slowdown twice here. I can't even figure out how to fit in doors anymore. Fantastic. Uh, we're gonna save our keys. If we had like one Emperor card, or God forbid two Emperor cards, we could finish this run so quickly. And I, it's not that I want it to be over with. If I could live in this run, if I could cut this run's skin wide open and sleep in its carcass as if it was a, a Tauntaun in a, a deathly hot winter, I would be excited. Um, I would be so grateful to have the opportunity to do so, but you know we know that the show's got to go on So at some point we're gonna have to give it up might as well have like the most impressive finish we can here it Really sucks that we got Horror of Babylon there. I mean, I'm happy we got Magic Mush. That's incredible uh, And I'm happy we got Horror of Babylon. We just are very unlikely to be able to use it, which is disappointing So I don't know is this the right way to the boss? I would say probably not Probably I can't see probably in actuality. We're gonna be looking at like down so I'll check that out. I don't really want to blow up anything, because I'm like, you know, why why be an asshole, you know? Leave it like you found it, man. Uh, let's continue onwards. Uh, I really can't stress enough that, like, this is just overkill. Also, my brain's feeling a little funky because of all the shit on the screen. Sometimes when we get, like, super huge hitboxes, that's what happens. That wasn't even, like, mom died quickly. That was, like, mom died instantly. And we still have a huge spy and flighter army. 
Yes, I know I made a mistake there, okay? I went with it because it was funny. Um, at this point, I'm like, we could probably finish this run by like 2330 is my thinking. The year 2330 is going to be a magnificent one. I'm very excited. Maybe by then we'll finally have, uh, let me come up with a circle jerk joke that works here. But maybe then we'll finally have printers that don't get paper jams, right guys? <laughs> I'll take my 10 million dollars, please. Oh, that was not very smart of me. I want to get small rock if we can. Nope. Um, so apparently I'm just so mad that I don't even want to pick up this stuff. We'll check this out because if we don't get to use Horror Babylon anyway, if we, you know, we might as well pick up an Eternal Heart if there was one available, which there was not. That's okay. There's a chest there. Oh well. Let's move along. Emperor, Sun. Also pretty useful. I'm sorry, Blue Baby. Um, I never had a choice in the matter here. This is... We were at like 18 minutes on the... Uh, the depths too. So to be where we are now is ridiculous. I, I should at least look at what these items are. Um, we're fine with this. Let's just walk into this room, use the sun card, and this is technically on the way that we go to get to the boss. So life is good. I actually do not want Taurus to ever fire. I know that's the first time it's done so, but I like I can't justify firing Taurus because we have such high damage ourselves. SME Super Fan really took us over the edge, huh? Like we. Uh... Oh come on. We uh, get Taurus super quickly now, whereas we hadn't had it before at all. Maybe it's also the rooms here have a tendency to be a little longer, I guess. All right. What did I tell you? 2330 is like, that was a conservative estimate. We ended up finishing by 2240. Holy crap. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.